Cole. I'm one of the owners of Maison Albion. Thanks so much for considering us for your wedding venue. Hi, I'm Carrie. I'm the other half of Maison Albion. <laughs> We're very, very excited that you are thinking of having your wedding at our venue. We are so honored. Um, really, we made this venue to just say hello and also to review our contract with you, just so you felt super comfortable with what you're signing up for and hopefully answer any questions that you might have. So with that, I'm gonna put my face away so we can review the contract together. Okay, okay great. So at the top, obviously, this is um, a contract just saying that it's a license to use the area. That's what kind of contract it is. It is a limited license for the time period that you're on the property. Um, we outline here that we have a booking fee of $3,000. Of course, that goes towards your balance. Um, and then remaining balance is at the very latest due 60 days prior. Most of our contracts we have on a month to month interest-free monthly payments. So it's easy peasy to finance your wedding at Maison um, and all of the payments as soon as they're made are final and non-refundable. Um, if uh, your payment's late, we do have a late fee there. We've honestly never used it, but we have it in there in case um, payments are very, very late. Um, and it also says here in case our company ever changes ownership, honestly, we have no plans to ever sell our venue, but in case um, something ever happens to Cole and I, your contract's completely valid and enforceable under New York law. Um, our contracts are non-transferable, meaning that the, the people who are on this contract are the only people who can execute and have their event there. Um, it can't be transferred to a different client or a different owner. <laughs> uh, the usage time here, is saying that you have access from 10 a.m. to midnight on your day. Um, in case of overnight stays, you could check in at 4 p.m. and check out strictly at 9 a.m. We can't do late checkout um, because there's honestly a very small window of housekeeping that we have before we welcome our next guests. Um, we also offer a complimentary one hour rehearsal uh, prior to your wedding and we just book that based on when uh, we have availability. If you'd like to also arrange for a rehearsal dinner, we have very discounted rates for that. If the date is available six months before your event, uh, we would love to offer that to you because we love to host our clients more than one day. Um, but if you know you want to book your rehearsal dinner immediately with us and have a multi-day event, we actually offer 50% off our site fees right away. Um, we do require um, that there's a day of event insurance protecting you uh, and also the whole investment of your wedding, honestly, all your guests, and it protects our venue from damage. Uh, that's in case, you know, God forbid, somebody's like smoking, it lights up part of the ballroom or whatever the case is, you aren't, uh, you know, in trouble for that damage. It's basically, it's going to protect you. We like to recommend companies like WedSafe, Ventura, um, and those companies, you know, charge between 80 and $150 for the whole investment of your wedding, which is a very small amount considering you know, the investment that you're making for your wedding day. Our cancellation clause is really important. Um, of course, like I said before, um, all of the fees are non-refundable. Uh, However, if you do cancel your wedding for any reason, um, more than six months in advance, that's 180 days, and we are able to rebook your fee, we will give you a 50% refund of your reservation fee. Um, if you would like to reschedule your event, we're happy to do so. Um, for an equivalent date, like meaning if you booked a Friday, another Friday, um, we do flat charge a flat additional charge of $1,000. Really, that's just to compensate for our price changes because when most of our clients um, move their wedding date, it's a year over year situation. Um, we don't permit date changes within six months because it's very unlikely we're going to be able to book your original date in that small of a time. Um, it also says here if we're unable to provide venue services due to COVID restrictions or any other really government restriction that you can change your date at any other time for no fee, of course. We want to celebrate with you. We also have a clause here that allows us to cancel the contract at any time with a full refund of refunds to you, um, and that serves as a limitation of damages. That's just, you know, in case we aren't able to perform services for some reason or we just feel like it's maybe not a good fit or something happens like we're not able to um, serve to our clients. We've honestly never used that clause ever, but just in case we have that in here. Um, our opening and closing setup and shutdown times here 
are here, I mean, uh, with the prearranged times, just saying our team does all the setup and shutdown, our Maison Ma Magic Makers make that happen, our event team directs it. We have a ton of tables and chairs, and those are outlined here, what they are. We also clean up everything. Um, and it just says here that the, you know, the catering company is required um, to clean up the kitchen and remove garbage and things like that that they've done and they sign a separate vendor agreement with us as well This clause here just allows us to restore renovate and make improvements um, Or so forth at any time that we seem necessary Obviously, we're not going to make any changes that would shock anyone But it just allows us, you know, she's a 150 year old building So she needs some lipstick every once in a while it allows us to make changes like painting and repairs improvements um, this is just our food clause. Uh, you know, we need to have a professional catering or food truck serve your wedding, um, and that a busing service has to be provided for any events that are over 30 guests. So if you do have a food truck, make sure that they have people that are ready to bus. You can also additionally hire our team to bus. Our mixology team can come in to bus as well. Um, so that's an option. We do, um, we do not allow alcoholic beverages to be self-served on our property under New York State law. Um, alcoholic beverages can't be served to minors or, or intox very intoxicated individuals. They can't be considered in the parking lot. Um, other conditions, they're saying here that we require a six-month check-in. That can be in person or virtually. We just want to know what's going on. Most of our clients were in super good touch with, so we have the pulse of your wedding, but some of our clients kind of vamoose, and then we hear from them about six months before. We, at the very, very latest, need to have a um, vendor list, a guest count, and a timeline at least 30 days prior to the event. Um, and then all the vendors have to be approved by us. You know, uh, this is our kindness clause here, our second one here, just saying that like no aggressive interactions, violent language or behavior is permitted towards our staff. Um, we will terminate the contract for that. Um, we've only had to do that once, um, but you know, we do protect our staff and we live to serve. And so it's really important to us that, um, that you're taking care of and our staff is taken care of. Um, there's no smoking anywhere inside the building. Vape, vapes are also not allowed. Um, they have to be at least 25 feet away because we're an old wooden structure. Um, we do allow marijuana use, uh, recreational marijuana use at Maison in the same smoking area. Um, we do assess a fine if we do if we find that someone was smoking inside the building immediately. Uh, for safety reasons, children always have to be supervised. We are so worried about the pond and any minors under 18. We have an amazing company we partner with to provide on-site child care services at a very affordable rate. So let us know if you would like that, if you've got a lot of kiddos at your wedding. We do close the grounds 30 minutes after sunset, um, just for noise and safety because the pond is not well lit. Um, however, if you have an outside event that goes until midnight, totally fine, as you know, assuming it's well lit and everything, everyone's outside, that's great. Um, for entering and leaving the premises, um, oh, this is just saying that they don't, we don't want people to congregate, fights, this sort of thing. Um, that it says here that uh, unamplified music on the grounds have to lay no later than 10 p.m. But if your whole event is outside, you can go till midnight. We actually only have one neighbor and we are in the process of buying the property across the street. So we will have no neighbors very soon, which is very exciting. Um, and everyone has to be vacated by 1 a.m. unless you're staying overnight with us. Of course, if you are doing late night and you have the overnight with us, you can have your party in the speakeasy until 2 a.m. Um, indemnification, this is just saying that you hold liable any material consideration. Just saying that like we're not liable for any harm that may came to you or your, or your guests. And the same way if we get hurt working on your wedding, um, that we won't hold you liable either. Force mayor is important. It's just saying that we're not liable for acts of God. Like if there's a hurricane at the venue, you know, we're not liable. We do not have a generator on site currently. That may change in the future, but we currently do not. Um, and that you're required to follow local laws. Um, the waiver here is important, just saying that if we waive any part of this contract, we, we allow you to do something that's outside of this contract. Um, it shouldn't be deemed as a waiver of, of any of the rest of the contract. Retaliation is important. I mean, if you have a negative experience at Maison, we would really hope you wouldn't. But if you anything is going wrong at all, please, please come to us instead of going online or having you know a barrage of 
you know, hate online. Um, we are very capable of solving a problem with you directly. And, you know, if there's any harassment, we will pursue that. Um, and that just saying that like everything that we've talked about is in this agreement. These are details for rules and regulations of decor, really. So just please don't tape or pin or thumbtack anything to our walls or windows because, you know, they'll rip off the varnish on the wood. Um, at the end of the event, all your personal items need to be removed. We actually help you put that together. All the decor has to be pulled down at the end of the event. We can't use smoke or fog machines. They set off our fire alarms. Um, if you're having live music or a DJ set up, um, we, we do need to meet with them. Um, if you have balloons, all the balloons have to be popped at the end. We don't allow confetti, glitter, gel balls, or birdseed or throwing rice. They just hurt the animals. Um, you can't do um, have marijuana or smoke uh, marijuana inside the mansion. We mentioned that earlier. No gambling is allowed. Bounce houses is the only thing that we're not allowed to do per our um, insurance company, but it's literally the only thing we have to say no to. <laughs> and we don't allow any open flames without prior approval. We do not allow single-use plastics on the property because we are trying to be green. We have an elaborate recycling programs. Um, we also have a compost. So I hope that helps. I hope you've enjoyed this Lego review, of all the Maison items, and I really, really hope that you consider having your wedding at Maison. We want to make all your dreams come true. Thanks. Oh, congrats on your engagement.